the 1980s, Nintendo could do no wrong, releasing countless classics such as Super Mario Bros., The Legend of Zelda, and Wario's Woods. Ooh. This streak continued through the 1990s and early 2000s with the unquestionably perfect Glover. But in 2005, tragedy struck the Nintendo headquarters when Shigeru Miyamoto left the stove on while everybody at the headquarters was buying a McDonald's. This effectively burned the entire building down. So, Nintendo's oh? spears were going to be burned down though, and they persevered through their next game, Call of Duty Ghosts. Swapping out everybody's favorite glove with a realistic dog that obeys your every command. This swap proved to be a mistake because sadly the smash hit farming simulator was a commercial flop and Nintendo plunged into the depths of despair. But Nintendo doesn't go down without a fight and they redeemed themselves with my top one game of May 13th, 2016 and the spiritual successor to Glover, Doom. This time around to appeal to more religious players it takes place in hell, and the entire soundtrack is Celtic Frost's sophomore LP, Jesus Slingshot. Except for the final boss theme, where Nintendo decided to take a more cinematic approach with Yo Gotti's down in the DM. Hell renders Glover's usual powers useless, so he has a variety of weapons to use, like a shotgun, rocket launcher, and his most masochistic weapon yet, a portable TV that continuously plays Cool Cat Saves the Kids. The final boss is what makes this game though. Nintendo really did a great job of making this boss represent the emotional struggles that they went through when their headquarters burned down. It's the Call of Duty Ghost Dog!